Today we're going to be looking at the Shark Aeron GP. Shark have made a long line of helmets that always push the boundaries as to what makes it stand out from the fact that they made the Shark Squall i3 with its integrated brake lights to the Race R Pro with its iconic rear spoiler to now this, their latest track lid with adaptive spoilers. Now, before we get into this, this is definitely made for the track. It's made for going fast, but will it do less fast? Let's find out. Let's get on with it then. Oh, sorry, were you taking B-roll? <laughs> my bad. I'm quite fortunate actually, because this is my personal helmet, my personal track helmet that I use on the Bonneville. New bike inbound. <laughs> but when it comes to the tech specs, it goes like this. So you can get this and from sizes XS to 2XL. It's got two different shell sizes and four different EPS sizes. When it comes to the actual construction of this, it has this covert construction, there's a new construction, and it's carbon on view aramid. This makes it super lightweight, but also highly impact resistant as well. So you get the best of both when you're looking at this helmet. For the weight, it comes in at around 1450 grams, plus or minus 50, but you really can't feel it at all. Now, when it comes to what's in the box, you get a set of tear-offs as well as a dark tint visor. If you look closely, you've actually chucked the dark tint on. The clear one is in the bag with the visor sticker still on it. Now, this visor has a class one optical clarity, I believe, making it super visible when you're looking through it. It doesn't have, however, a pin lock recess. A little birdie told me that you can actually use their old Race R Pro visor on this helmet. When it comes to the colors and the graphics, you can get these in the white, red, blue. You can get it in the Zarco color as well as the Fernandez color. It all comes at the same price. So no expense lost there. Just choose the one you like and get it on your head. Now, when it comes to the other features of this, of course it has ventilation. You have vents at the front. You've got two vents at the top here as well as a lovely little slider for the brow vent. What's also quite lovely about this is on the interior, you can actually see this massive breath deflector there to allow air to pass through the back of the visor. For those wondering why we don't have a pinlock recess, if it did have one, it would lose that class one optical clarity. And we don't want that when you're around the track. When the sun's beaming on you, you want to be able to see where you're going. You don't want to really go into the back of Marquez, even though he keeps coming off his bike. On the topic of the visor, as long as it's up, you can see on the side there's a quick release system for it. This is so that when we're in the pit lanes, we have a quick exchange of visors. It's operated by this little pin on the side here. You flick it open, it pops it out, they yank it off and put on a brand new visor. Isn't that brilliant? On the inside of this helmet, you also get a HEPA filter just for that maximum breathability and clean air. If you don't know what that is, if it was like the days of the pandemic, you were wearing one on a daily basis. It's just for optimal, clear breathability in your helmet. On the topic of air, let's say, this Shark helmet had that in mind. If we move to the rear, you can tell that this is the new world's first aerodynamic adaptive aero spoiler. This is the A2S system. This allows for better airflow throughout the actual helmet when it comes to the bends. Now this is called the A2S aero adaptive system, wherever they want to call it. But for me, I call it the shark fin. See, they've really missed a the trick. They should hire me to name things for them. But yes, this gives you a better feel when you're down going muck majesus speeds on the track to give you the best amount of airflow when it's paired up against the rear hump of your one piece leathers something this guy in the background doesn't need. He's only got one of the ponies. Like I was saying, it's come a long way since the Race R Pro with its iconic rear spoiler. It was brilliant down the straightaways when you're going super fast, tucked in behind the screen. But as you encountered the bend, what they found out was it caused a little bit of drag. So to alleviate that in this new version, this A2S system is there to alleviate that when you're going around the bend at 150 miles an hour, which I'm too scared to do, to allow the air to flow through it nicely. And another little feature that's added onto this is the rubberized chin guard so that when you are tucked behind the screen, 
you get better feel on the tank. Let's be real, that's a lot of track talk, but I am yet to see a track. I got this because, like you will, because of the safety features, because of how comfortable it is, because it carries that kudos behind it that someone like Johan Zarco or Fernandez rocks this helmet in the track. Will I ever be as fast as them? Probably not. As much as my ego says that I can, I'm never going to reach that. What I'm looking for in this helmet is to look a little bit cooler, have good aerodynamics on the motorway when I have no screen, and the creature comforts that you do get in a normal helmet, like the fact that you have cutouts for speakers so you can listen to your music, or the fact that the plush cheek pads are in the insides and it's fully customizable, or the good seal around there to reduce the wind noise. It all comes into play for a day-to-day -day use so that we can live the dream of possibly being in the MotoGP. Now this is the Shark Aeron GP. If you did like this video, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this Zarco lid. Be sure to subscribe, ride safe, and we'll see you all soon. Meow. Meow.